Welcome everybody. This is where we get to meet the contestants vying to represent Trinidad at Tobago at the Miss World competition. Today we have 25 year old Miss Maya Kozia, Miss St. Anne's. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm great, thank you. It is an absolute pleasure having you with us. And I want to start by asking you to tell me a little bit about yourself. <laughs> I'm a filmmaker. Uh -huh. I won an open scholarship in 2012 which allowed me the opportunity to study film in New York. City. It was an amazing experience and I had four years to learn so much from a diverse group of people from all different walks of life. I returned home two years ago and I've been making many short films, music videos and documentaries with themes around Trinidadian culture. I am also a dancer. Growing up I was heavy, heavily involved in creativity, in fine arts, painting dancing and now that has evolved into my interest gravitating more towards filmmaking yeah. and you, one of your short films short drop that screened at over 20 film festivals around the world tell me a little bit about that yeah interestingly enough when i wrote the script for short drop mm -hmm. i wrote it with a trinidadian audience in mind i actually told my professors that I really wanted to fly home to shoot my thesis film, even though I was still in New York City. So I convinced a couple of my colleagues at school to jump on a plane, fly with me to Trinidad, and we will shoot this short film called Short Drop. Short Drop is about a retiree who gets mistaken for a taxi driver in downtown port of Spain and he decides to go along with it and throughout that journey he picks up a bunch of different characters from different walks of life. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's absolute mi absolutely mind-blowing that it has shown at over 20 film festivals two years later and it's really amazing that people from different countries and different walks of life can appreciate something that I made with a Trinidadian audience in mind and they're all able to relate to it and connect it in a way that is you know very inspiring for everyone. Yeah. And, and you were also listed as 25 people under 25 to watch by Caribbean Best Magazine. Yes. So how does that make you feel? <laughs> it's amazing that people are looking um, and I feel like I was a bit discouraged at one point to enter this field what? because it's a field that's monopolized by men and men tend to dominate in roles as directors, as producers and that definitely got to me as a young wo woman of color who wanted to pursue this field. I thought to myself, regardless of you know, the stigma around women entering these types of fields that I would go for it and that I would do it wholeheartedly and I feel like that's why. I know from filmmaking you entered the Miss World competition, yes. tell me why. I really feel like this competition especially with their mandate of beauty with a purpose is a great way to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've accomplished so much because of Trinidad and Tobago they paid for my education, which allowed me to become the person that I am today. And this is an excellent platform to give back, especially to young women. I feel like being in a position where I can be a role model and a person of influence can really help me tell young girls out there who may be afraid to go after their dreams or may feel like you know that's out of their league that they can do it if they believe in themselves so i really feel like this is a great platform to yes better myself as an individual mm -hmm. but to also give back to the community and inspire young women to go after their dreams fully and fearlessly and and those are some some big high standards that you've set for yourself but if you go on to win this competition and represent Trinidad and Tobago in China what do yeah. you think you would be able to do that would stand out amongst the over 100 other fields. Yeah. If I do go to China, I want to be unapologetically Trinidadian. I feel like having lived in other countries around the world, Trinidadian women, I personally think, mm -hmm. are some of the most intelligent, confident, unique women out there. We have 
such a unique experience having lived on a twin island which is a melting pot of cultures and religions mm. and you know growing up on this island you get to experience carnival and diwali and all these influences make us so unique and i feel like if i were to get the opportunity to represent Trinidad and Tobago in China on a real stage i would definitely want to be unapologetically Trinbegonian and i would definitely want to stand out in the uniqueness and the individuality of what that means and have the red white and black fly high <laughs> yes what would you say to your fellow competitors in this competition i actually got to know these girls in a way that i didn't think i would mm -hmm. Sometimes we describe ourselves as sisters, but it was such a privilege being able to meet young women who were my age that I admired or I also found inspiring. Among the group of girls there's a national athlete. Mm -hmm. She went away on a full scholarship mm -hmm. to run and study. She's such an inspiration. She has the greatest energy I've ever seen in a young woman. There's you know other women like myself who also won open scholarships. So this year has a very strong and diverse group of girls and they're all equally inspiring and I would just want to say to them that keep pushing in the right direction because they already are and I really want to see all the girls do extremely well after this competition. Well, I would like to wish you all the best. Thank you. In this competition as well and with all of the goals that you have set for yourself. Thank you. It was an absolute pleasure having you. 25-year-old Maya Kozia, Miss St. Anne's, telling us a little bit about herself as she tries to become the Trinidad and Tobago representative at Miss World Competition.